Hello and welcome to the Dave Dan Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Cross Country Head Coach Dave Dan. And Coach, um, seasons, you're about a month into the season now, a little bit longer um, considering preseason. Um, just kind of talk about how, obviously you've competed a couple times, so obviously you had a couple weeks on of training. Just talk about how the season's gone so far. It's, it's gone really well, especially when I look back and compare it to, mm-hmm. to last year and the, and the year before. Um, we did things a little different this year. We had kind of two lower key meets early on. Yeah. And then took a kind of three week break before yeah. this weekend, but everybody across the board is way ahead of where they were last year at this time. So it's really exciting. Yeah, yeah. You talked about the two meets. Um, obviously, the, the uh, Mustang Stampede was uh, opening weekend of school. That was very low key. Um, and then the Shannon Henry Invitational. Um, that was more uh, obviously not an official MAC championship preview meet, mm-hmm. but obviously we had a lot of teams from the MAC here with it with us hosting the conference championship in October. Um, so you got to kind of get to see how you stacked up um, against the rest of the conference, and that went pretty well, especially on the men's side. Yeah, so I mean, we had several teams from the conference, and the defending champion on the men's side, Messiah, was there, and the men were actually able to, to beat them by yeah. a few points. And um, I wasn't really expecting that to happen that early in the year, so right. I feel like that's that's a good sign for later. Yeah. And the woman, I mean, we didn't run everybody yet; right. just we have some people coming back from injury, mm-hmm. but. Um, I think we're, we're still in a good place with where, where they left off as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, a couple of standout performers on both sides for the men. Um, Langston Gash went out and won both those meets. Um, it was that, that actually National Runner of the Week uh, the first week. Then uh, Pat Watson, again, coming out strong as well. I'm um, just talking about the performance those two, kind of building on their performance last year. Yeah, so Langston, for the past four years, has kind of been the guy that, that everyone's been chasing. Yeah. And um, he's just a good leader and um, good motivation for Pat and the rest of the guys to yeah. kind of to work up and get with him because I know Pat was up there with him at the end of the year last year. Right. But um, like I said earlier, I mean, even though Pat's not up with Langston right now, right. everybody on the team, are, I mean, all their workout times and races are well ahead of where they were last year at this time. Yeah. And then on the women's side, um, you know, Chola Dola, she's been um, – and then uh, Michaela Sabo is another one that um, freshman has come in and run pretty well. And we talked about her a little bit in the preseason that she's never really run cross country. She's yeah. only run track. Yeah, so the first two meets of the season were Michaela's first two cross country races. Yeah. And um, they went really well. And she's, I think every time she does one, she's going to learn more. Yeah. Um, so I'm really excited about to see what she can do this weekend. And then choll has been doing well, CJ, Emily. I mean, it's just a, a great group. And then yeah. we are bringing back Kelly this weekend. Okay. So yeah. we're excited to kind of see where she is, but she's not going to run completely all out this week. But right, obviously, build towards the end of October yeah. in the conference meet and NCA. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you mentioned I uh, talked about this obviously here at Salisbury this week, and then obviously a couple other big meets coming up at the beginning of October for uh, both teams. Yeah, so the the weekend after next, we take the women's team to the Disney Cross Country mm-hmm. Invitational, which they're really excited about yeah. that. They get to run on the, I guess it's the Disney Wide World of Sports down there. At the complex. A, yeah. yeah, and I, I don't remember if it's a golf course, but it's part of the complex yeah. down there. And then um, the men have that week off, and then the, they go to Rowan the yeah. following week. Yeah, and that Rowan meet, um, we've talked about that in the past, is that there's going to be a lot of the top teams, not only from our region, but from some of the other regions. So you really get a good sense of how you stack up in the region and nationally as well. Yeah, so that's going to be a really important meet for the men, yeah. especially with the at-large process yeah. later to get into nationals. Uh, last year, there were teams from the South region, I think the Central region, the Great Lakes, yeah. the Midwest. The teams came from kind of all over yeah. to go to that meet. Yeah, so obviously that'll be a good test, you know, about two weeks before the conference championship to see, like you said, for that at-large process and see, yeah, absolutely. see where you stack up. Definitely. All right, Coach. Well, um, you know, we wish you and your team the best of luck over the next few weeks, and um, we'll chat right before the conference championship. Sounds good. Thanks, Greg. All right. For Dave Dan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Dan Show.